What is up everybody, we are back again, and today I'm going to run you guys through my PC setup really quick. Right now, I am running Prime95. Um, I'm just doing my second round of stability testing. I actually had to drop my uh, clock down from 4.2 to 4 flat, just over. So that's what I'm running on my 965 4 core Phenom Black Edition. My Windows Task Manager up, this has been running for a while. Uh, so that's what I've got overclocking on my CPU. I will run through my GPU really quick. I'll take you guys through that later. Right now, I'll tell you that it is a uh, Sapphire. It's the 2 gig overclocked gigahertz edition of the 7870. It's got the dual cooler on it. But uh, I'm running Prime 95 small FFT, so that way everything on my CPU is pegged. And I'll run you guys through my accessories and I'll take you guys through the tower really quick. Right now, I'm using a Samsung Sigmaster S20B350. It's a bit of a mouthful, but I mean, it's a great monitor. Uh, I'm using a G700 Logitech gaming mouse, it was about 90 bucks, I think it's a pretty good deal, it's a nice solid mouse, uh, it's not that heavy, I don't like a brick for a mouse, but whatever. Um, I'm using an Anansi is the uh, model, and Razer is the brand, this is a, a mid-level MMO grade keyboard, I would have liked to get a mechanical keyboard, but this is a membrane, it works just fine, uh, it still actually sounds like a mechanical keyboard, I'm not going to do anything because um, I'm afraid if I do then I'll do something to close down or modify Prime 95 and I'm not going to do that but it does color shift there's the Anansi Razer logo she's just a, the Razer logo and uh, all the keys do color shift as well so that looks like uh, so that's what I'm running I'm also running a Logitech Z506 which means one two three four five plus one speaker system um, so that's what I have running for my sound setup and this is running off the onboard audio right now which is not what I'd really like to have for my audio but uh, it's really what I have to deal with for right now until I get another, uh, or until I uh, get a sound card. That's pretty much what I'm stuck with. Right now I am overclocking, but I can wrap down the fans. I can shut down two of them, and my system will still run very cool. Turn down the water pump. Um, so I'm going to have to raise my voice a little bit, but here's what we have running um, in my system. I'm using a Cooler Master Half 922. We'll grab a light since it's a little dark on my camera. There we go. Uh, up in front here, we have a LightScribe DVD drive, a six channel Sunbeam fan controller. Um, I have my fuck yeah pin, which you guys, if you watched my last video, you saw. And I have my double helix uh, Frozen Cues Company. It's a double helix dual five and a quarter inch bay reservoir. It's handmade in the United States. I have my front 200 millimeter intake from the Megaflow from uh, Cooler Master. All my other fans in my system are Cooler Master Sickle Flow 120s. There's the two fans on the top, which are actually just kind of letting air passively radiate through them, which is still cooling my uh, my 240mm Hardware Labs GT240X flow. Here's what it looks like on the inside with just other normal light, uh, not just specifically UV light being around it. But uh, here's how I have my fan set up. I have front intake, bottom intake, pulling air through radiator. It's got a push-pull config on it. I have a back intake, which is blowing air through to the power transformers on the front of or uh, on the back of my fan control it's also air cooling my pump which actually does decrease my temps by a couple degrees and then these two are exhausting out and there's also other space if i can't handle the airflow if i don't have my fans on it does passively radiate through there which is always nice uh which means i can actually um let me get the side panel off here really quick um which means if i don't want to have my system be very loud I can actually kick down all the fans except for the uh, bottom two, and to be honest, they're not all that loud when they're sitting at idle, but I have to have them up on high, otherwise my system will overheat, um, even though it is still pulling air through here. should actually probably turn this back on on low. There we go. Okay, so let's start down here at the bottom and we'll work our way up. First, I want to talk about the lighting. Most of this is UV light. I have two Logisys cathodes right here that both have inverters. I have two inverterless Logisys cathodes. Uh, sorry about the very loud fan noises. I'm pulling quite a bit of air through actually uh, through here. And then I have, uh, we'll start down here on the bottom like I said I would. Cooler Master 850 Watt Silent Pro, uh, Swift Tech 120 Slim Extreme Radiator sandwiched between two sickle flows, uh, push pull. I have my 200 millimeter intake mega flow, which is pulling air through right by the radiator and then it's going up. I have my one terabyte Western Digital, Trendnet 350 meg per second Wi-Fi card, my Sapphire 7870 HD, the dual cooler. <laughs> Pull that around here, so you guys can see that. Um, and then I have my 16 gigs of Mushkin Black Line RAM. I'm using Teflon, um, three and a, I think it's three and a half inch 
uh, 3 is by 1 half inch, I apologize, um, red UV tubing. I'm using O-Cool, or uh, sorry, not O-Cool, Alpha Cool, right angle uh, compression fittings, these look very nice, I like it a lot. Um, unfortunately, my return to my uh, reservoir um, tubing is actually coming in contact with my dims, but it's not really transferring all that much heat on it, because there's so much airflow, because um, it's pulling air right through the radiator that it actually does keep my RAM very cool. Um, right here I have my coolant 370 SV water block. This is optimized for AMD processors and it keeps my CPU at idle at about 23 and it maxes out at about 35, which is very good. Uh, you can see my water pump, it's a Danger Den 3-pin um, 12-volt pump. And then back behind my 5 and a quarter inch bays, I have my um, Mushkin Kronos 90 gig solid state drive slash boot drive, whichever you prefer. Um, so once again, there's a fan there, there's the two fans here, fan and then fan and fan. Uh, when it does sit on idle or when I'm just playing kind of your normal average game like Drive to Send or uh, Battlefield 3, it does sit very cool and very quiet. Uh, I can actually hardly hear the system over my speakers. I don't have headphones at this time, but that's just a choice that I made. So that's what I have going for my system, Oops. My system as of now. And I'll turn off the lights and I'll show you guys some night shots it really quick so uh, just give me a couple minutes here and I'll be right back with you So that is my current setup guys, I'd like to thank you a lot for watching, uh, if you wouldn't mind subscribe to my channel and I'll subscribe to you back. Um, also please comment and like this video, tell me what you like, tell me the things that you change, um, tell me what you like most about my system, and uh, a couple of things that I'd change, I'd like to get one of the 6 core phenoms and I'd like to stick another six, or, uh, 7870, or just like to upgrade to a 7950 sometime soon, but that's what I'm running on uh, currently, I really like my system a lot, it runs very nice and very smooth. Um, but I'd like to thank you guys for watching again, and I'll see you guys next time.